So we've got the basics. We know how to create a report on our own without the wizard. And in our international customers database, we have our RPT customers report. We may wish to add to that report our own titles and headings, and perhaps our own images, a company logo, for example. Both of these are very achievable. The easiest place to do it is in design. So let's change into design view. And it may be in the report header here. Remember the report header only appears once on the report, effectively on the first page. So anything we put here will only appear on that first page. So I may wish to put a title. So I need an AA box, a label. We can draw our rectangle in place and type in what we would like. Customers 2013. Don't forget we cannot format this text while it sits here. We have to click off the box and click back on and then the formatting options are available. So I'm going to resize this so it sits in the middle. Then format on the report design tools and we see all the formatting options are available on the left here. So I'm going to center a line. I'm going to increase the font size. Perhaps going to change the typeface. Go bold and even change the color to a dark blue. That's quite big and bold, isn't it? Now the other thing that I may wish to change in the report header at this stage is the background color. It's defaulted to this sort of bluey gray color. So if I bring up the property sheet by double clicking the report header, I can go to format and change the back color here. With the little drop down, I can choose one of the themes that is in use. So instead I'm going to go to the three dots, which take me to the nice color palette where I can then pick from a theme color or a set of standard colors or more colors. Notice it remembers the blue that I picked for the text there. However, I would like a sort of lightish gray background really. There we go. And then when we go to print preview, we see that that appears on the first page. But on subsequent pages, I don't see that heading because it's simply in the report header. If I want something to be on every page, I would put it in the page header. So in the page header, I'd need to make it a little bit bigger, obviously. Move my labels down by selecting them all. Let's close the property sheet. And then I can drag them all down. And then perhaps put a label in here, maybe even this one by dragging that across the interface, in which case I don't need such a big report header. And when I go to print preview, I now have customers 2013 on the top of every page. So some things you'll want on every page, some things you'll only want at the beginning of the report, some things you want in the footer down here. So you put those in the report footer. And if we want just a text box, then that's AA for a label. The other option is to insert an image, perhaps the company logo, that might look good there. If I just move this customers along a little bit more. So if I want to stick an image in here, I need to make sure that I'm in the correct section. So I'm in the page header. Up on the report design tools design, there is an insert image option. I click the drop down and browse and go and find the image that I would require. So in your working folder, current chapter, we have an infinite skills logo. Okay. Notice it doesn't just place it in the page header. It sort of turns your cursor into a placement tool. So now when I click, that's where the logo will appear. If it's a little bit too large, you can resize it just to suit really. So my image is in place, my labels in place in print preview. I can see them both in the page header. So they appear on the top of every page.